The people are stupid and they're drunk. There'll be a revolution and they're going to lose. There are too many guns and too many people ready to fight them. I am a man of peace, but we have gangsters running this country. Criminals, gangsters. We're normal. We see total criminal takeover, the death of freedom. It is the most corrupt, degenerate criminal government in American history. I'm trying to wake it but look at the morons around you. There's not. You're listening to the WBH and New Jersey podcast. And now here's your host. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the WBHN podcast. This week, we aren't going to be checking out everything that's in the news because we have a special episode today where we're going to have clips, highlights of a conversation with two Team Rockaset members, a New Jersey-based hip-hop group based out of B-Town, Belmont, New Jersey, at the Jersey Shore. So... The other member, Simply E, is inside. We are at her house. We are on the lake in a semi-rural part of New Jersey. Still, not much more than 20 blocks from the beach. But anyway, um, so when she'll join us soon. But where I'm at right now, I'm at the fire pit with leader of Team Rockaset, Frankie V. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me, Chosen. Good to be chilling with you again, kicking it on this fine, beautiful spring day. It's getting nice out. We got, we had a, a little April Fool's joke from Mother Nature herself. She said it was going to be spring and then made it snow on us. So it's all right. I think the groundhog is doing his thing now, though. Yeah, the, <laughs> they, they saw some joke on the news. They arrested Punxsutawney Phil or one of them. One of the little groundhogs, because they were like, "You said it was spring still, and now we had like two other nor'easters." Since he said it was going to be spring, that's hilarious. So now, this episode's going to have two segments because we talked about some things like last week, I believe. Yeah, in regard to time traveling and to, some other yeah. topics. <clears throat> CERN. Yeah, so we're just going to add that on at the end since you guys said you're goodbyes and yeah. your links to where people could find you online and our blue turkeys and all that yeah so this so <laughs> we're building this episode for backwards we have the ending already but it's all right um, we're time travelers so yeah it's only right it turns out that way uh, outstanding yes it's like benjamin buttons so i was gonna say before um I didn't know the story I heard about if it was fake news. I only had a little bit of time to research it, but this guy had this terminal disease and he ate 30 apricot seeds a day That's and insane. wiped it out. That's insane. You know what? I get as much as that that, you know, this might sound far-fetched to some, I could see that being like a legit thing for real because I'm just seeing the magic that Mother Earth has done just through, you know, food being thy medicine, let thy medicine be thy food, you know, that, I mean, those, those words, how powerful they are, and that, that really verifies, what you're saying is really verifying it too. Yeah, the healing power of these uh, natural ingredients, herbs and spices, and yeah. all of them, they really can... Uh, he heal your mind, body, and soul. And like I was saying how earlier, I am trying to get back on my spiritual journey, which I got off. I got kind of off the path for a little while. So I'm trying to get back into some hot yoga and... Me too. And more <laughs> juices and, and smoothies. I'm a little out of practice too, but I'm going to get back in that hot yoga studio like I never left. It's going to take a little bit though. It's not going to be just like a overnight thing. I know that myself. It's going to take a little to get back to where I left off at. I'm sure you feel the same way. Yeah. Um, once, yeah, I got off the track, then I start, started drinking more. So now I got to get back on that health kick again. And like I said earlier and in other episodes, I'm moving next month. And this is going to be a new beginning for me because it's kind of hard where I'm living now to, to, to take over the kitchen and then do all this other stuff organic stuff what the heck was oh 
I was thought yeah, 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 I was that, was gonna, crazy. that was a duck. So we're outside a lake and something just splashed into it. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was a duck. But I was gonna say earlier, what if the the Loch Ness monster popped out here? We did a skit and where we said Grimace from McDonald's was the Loch Ness oh, yeah. monster back here in the lake. I saw that skit on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I, this is, yeah, that I was, thought somebody was gonna jump in the lake. Yeah. I saw you were like putting fries in the yeah, lake. Yeah, and then I almost got in. pulled in by the Loch Ness Grimace. It was crazy. Yeah, that was like an anti-McDonald's video. Do you... Oh, so, okay, I was going to go to Loch Ness Monster direction, but... but I know, Loch Ness McDonald's. Monster, I do believe in the Loch Ness Monster, though. Yeah, definitely. Loch Ness Nessie. Because, um, I don't know, I, I, I see it as, like, not just, like, a mythical creature. I see it as a prehistoric animal that has lived on this earth way before us and that's why they're able to still live and probably will outlive us too precisely and there's a big ditch mm. like they scan the the lock right yeah. and they they saw that there was a trench like a very deep area that they couldn't scan with the lasers that's crazy and like they said radar and it yeah. sonar or something sonar like yeah and they were saying that oh okay so there's a possibility they didn't see the Loch Ness monster when they scanned it, so they said it could possibly be in that deep trench yeah, that's it, like goes extra deep. It probably uses that trench to veil itself. Yeah, because I, I don't know. I have a, a theory on Bigfoot too. That um, Bigfoot. I, I just I I think that he's that the Bigfoots are people see it as like an ape or something. I see it as um more intelligent life than us and it knows how to veil itself it might even be us in the future coming in the past who knows evolution might take us there one day you never know and for the last few summers i did a couple topics on bigfoot here and there and there's a speculation and theories that maybe this thing creature bigfoot is hopping in and out of dimensions like popping portals yeah up. yeah because he, exactly what because it's very that. yeah possible yeah. it's very possible because they are natural beings but maybe they're supernatural beings and in the woods being their area being that there's like a lot of high vibrations there because it's a natural untainted area i i just see it like that might be more accessible for them to portal you keep looking back i look back only real quick but why do you keep looking back i'm just curious to take a time out i don't know i keep like catching feel like i'm catching something in my peripheral because those sparks hopping and whatnot and i don't know so um hearing something behind me too but uh with back to bigfoot is um they somebody was hurting noise while they were they might not even been hunting for Bigfoot but they were out there I did this story a couple weeks ago like a month ago or so but I don't have all the details memorized but the man was in the woods and he heard a beast uh, growling like a like a Bigfoot right like an ape type of growling and he he um he was standing right there, and he could hear the noise right somewhere right in front of him, and he saw nothing. Why? So maybe the Bigfoot was able to make himself invisible. Yeah. Never I mean, know, man, that, anything. That's exactly what I'm thinking, too, and why it's so hard to catch them on camera. And when they do, why it's, like, you know, such a big deal. I also heard about, like, those shadow people in the woods that might be um, oh. Matrix, like a split, like a, a glitch in the Matrix. When that happens, did you hear about that? I've heard of them. I didn't get to do a, I didn't report on them yet, but the sh- I did actually talk a little bit about them, but I didn't do a full in-depth investigation on them. Me neither, yeah. It's crazy, yeah. there's Just like you were saying briefly about The them. shadow people... They might be like hard a cousin to, of Bigfoot. Who knows? Like, we couldn't really take them on. It's not like we can try to arrest them or capture them. Yeah, yeah. Or kill them. Yeah, exactly. But they can to us. Yeah. And I know I don't know. Every time I go out on a limb and say weird things, though, like I'll say, I want to believe. I am slightly skeptical, but... I do believe anything can happen on this world. And And that could have been a shadow person that just tried to sabotage the fire pit just now. Yeah. (laughs) That was creepy, right? Yes. (laughs) That was crazy. So, what are some other topics you want to cover? 
for this episode. We already covered a lot, so this is going to be a jam-packed um, you heard interview. It. Underground base in Dulce, New Mexico could be something that, if you want to look up something to cover for your, one of your future shows, too, um, the, there's a lot of material on this with Phil, uh, uh, a guy named Phil Snyder. He's a... Um, I guess he used to work at this base. He was security, and he's a... What would you call that? A whistleblower? He went yes. and kind of... Yeah, yeah. So he went and exposed all of their shit front to back. That they have nine or 13 floors, I believe. And then um, the more deeper you go down into this base, the more weird the experiments become. It starts off as like, um, you know... Just like your first, second, and third floor, I think, is like security clearance you got to get by. The next floor is down. It starts to become more weird where it's like they, they start experimenting on switching souls into different shells, apparently, he was saying, where they're trying to transfer like a soul from one body to another. And then further down, it gets into like an alien um, housing units. Further down after that, uh, apparently, they call it when you get to like seven I think the floor is seven or nine they call it nightmare hall and that's where they're doing biogenetical experiments and they're splicing humans with frogs and all different types of animals what's up simply e hey. simply e we are recording look at all this food guys welcome to the podcast oh my god you started without me <laughs> you were here in spirit for web hosting but don't know who to choose with so many choices out there well you can't go wrong with bluehost bluehost is a leading web solutions services provider since 2003 bluehost has continually innovated new ways to deliver on their mission to empower people to fully harness the web so sign up today you get a free domain free site builders one click wordpress install and 24 7 support and if you sign up now you get a special introductory offer of $3.95 a month to get started go to bluehost.com forward slash track forward slash black helicopter news when news breaks in the tri-state area or world you will hear it here on WBHN New Jersey you're listening to black helicopter news hosted by Andrew Robinson Walks in the news. And we're back. <clears throat> now we're joined with Simply E. What up, what up? So what up, what's Simply going e. on with you? How's how's life been since well, the Immortal Technique show? Um, it's great. I had a fantastic day. It's Earth Day. So I did my part to clean up the yard and plant some flowers and stuff in the garden and some leaves and clean up all the branches and trees that were left over from all the nor'easters we've been getting. So, you know, I think what we should be talking about tonight is this fucked up weather. Oh, harp, <laughs> yo. That's why, what that um, is. Why it's freezing cold at the end of April and we're sitting out here in hoodies and, and scullies um, having a bonfire in the summertime. We should be able to just enjoy the bonfire you know, without being freezing our asses off and be able to kick back, but we got to put scullies on to do this. Have a little outside uh, session tonight. Cleaned yeah. off the table, scrubbed the mold. I mean, it was just like a very productive day of keeping things clean. And you know, as I was watering the garden, I was thinking about you know the cause and the effect that uh, my friend Water Sauce was talking about the other day. Oh, yo! Shout out to Water Sauce. Ecology <laughs> and. Uh, you know, we were watching Cowspiracy the other day about why tonight we're eating a totally vegan dinner. And uh, we're out here with fruits and veggies and some uh, 
veggie burgers, and we didn't even have any carbs actually in this oh, meal. Oh, and as well, by the so. way, Water Sauce just sent me a text, and he says that there is now a Beyond Meat sausage too. So that's going to save mm. millions of. And the Beyond Meat is the burgers that you brought from. Now we have that here actually that um, Chris, we were saving for Chris because we all ate the Boca burgers, but we have this here. So since he's not here, if you want, we can split that up and each try that. Beyond, this one, this beyond one's meat not burgers. Beyond Meat. No, this is th Whole Foods oh. line 365. It's frozen. Oh, okay. So it's th it's still good. All right. Well, well, I'm just gonna take a little bite of it here and let and you know. Is mm. How is it? Simply e. It's actually really good. Um. It's got flavor and stuff, and it's like soft, don't get all like nasty and rubbery, like, it's pretty good, it's like soy based, I think. So healthy eating is important, free, correct? Yeah. Oh, is it? I'm yeah, it's soy free, it's soy -based, free. But That's the new way is. to go. It's pretty good. I actually do prefer Dr. Pager's uh, black bean quinoa burgers. But <laughs> nice. I save those for myself during the week because they're super easy to cook in the toaster, super fast when you're on the run. Even if you don't have time to make it into a sandwich and have a side of veggies like you should with every meal. Um, you could always pop it in, you know, with your tin foil and just wrap it up like a little, a little tater tot and take it in your car and go. We, we got a little cooking show on the podcast, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, we're talking it's about, you know, it is Earth Day, so we want to talk about the, the things we want that to make, about, yeah. make a difference. Feeding the off the Earth properly. Better. You know, we're sitting out back here by the lake right now, and, uh, where we did our anti-McDonald's video last, last year, almost a year ago now. And we had Lake Grimace, with Grimace almost kicked Frankie V into the lake and had to go and save him. So we want to touch base on, you know, health again today on Earth Day and how we do our part to... And like we mentioned before, Chosen said that there is seeds now that could cure cancer that came from the Earth. Apricot, Ap apricot seeds. seeds, yes. Yeah. And that's now on Earth Day. Another Earth Day reference. Have, right have you heard of that, though? Just now, I'm learning about it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's got B17. That's wild. And so they don't like count B17, and like the the vitamins usually go up to 16, I think. 16, well, 12, yeah. yeah, but I think 16. I'm not sure, but it's B17 that's in them, and uh, they're very bitter. They look like an almond almost. You'll get one in a in an apricot, right in the seed. You got to. You like gotta a bust pit, this. A mini pit yeah, you gotta bust the pit open to get it. It's in there jingling. You can shake it. Oh, gotcha. And they had apes, right? They were in kept not captivity, but in the wild. They were saying, well, why is the apes smashing the the uh, the pit of the apricot? <laughs> like they're just smashing the whole apricot just to get to the seed. Like they're like, what? what? Oh, yeah, they, that's how they figured it because out. Because they're natural. They that's know. How, that's how yoga was discovered, paying homage to the animals. And it sounds like the seed was now, too. Absolutely. We could learn so much yeah. from yeah. the animals. Well, we just want to make sure to be, you know, putting out, what are you doing today to put in your part in making this earth a better and more livable place? for our future and for our kids' future because mm. at this point, with what's going on with the atmosphere, with the weather, with harp, with these nor'easters, with this 96th day of January bullshit. And Pope John Paul, too. It's, it's outrageous. Uh. I mean, like, the daffodils and what I've seen happen to them over the last few years, it's like, every year it gets worse and worse. They start popping up because they think it's warm in February with 70, 80 degrees, and then all of a sudden March, April, it's freezing cold again. The daffodils are dying before they're even getting a chance to live. Thankfully, they're actually surviving this season. We're still doing okay right now, but I'm seeing it more in every single year, and you know, the, the polar ice caps are melting, and it is causing a great change for us, and if people don't realize that, then you're fucking full. So, better do something to help save the honeybees or and Or else, else fucking Florida's getting flooded <clears throat> out. <clears throat> so there's, a lot of, there's a lot of natural catastrophes that have been occurring over the last two decades or so. 
that I've been alive and witnessed, and it just only seems to be getting worse as time goes on, and the weather is not what it used to be when I was a kid. At this point, if it was springtime, I should be able to wear a spring dress outside, and I'm sitting here in a January scully, and that shit ain't cool. Yeah, I hear you. So Ooh, I love this song. This is some classic shit. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna take a group effort by many people on on humanity just to do that. Word. So. So what else? I'm what very else grateful to have about? you guys here with me tonight and enjoying these fruits and veggies and. And that the war with Pope John Paul is soon to be over, right? Let's all hope, man. Legalize it. It's coming. I mean, apparently it's 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 in the process of happening. So those of us that still got upcoming court dates for these kind of charges should be, you know, hopefully um, in the future. Expunge. Yeah. yeah. Senator Cory Booker was mentioning that. You said if, that, huh? Yeah. yeah. I heard about him. Back I have to tell so you, man, you can I'm, cure the problems so that I've way they're told, not. I've been told by my lawyer that my charges are not criminal and I'm not a criminal. So I'm not, not going to sit there and label myself as that because everything I've had is for weed charges. It's called disorderly conduct now. Because we didn't make it to so, Casola in time. Yeah, right? mm. if, I, if, I, if I'm going to be convicted for that bullshit, the fuck, man, you might as well convict me for, for living and but, breathing. Yo, but you were more mad about the speeding ticket than you were about that the was weed upsetting. They make a lot of money. They make a lot of money off punishing. I worked so hard punishing. that day for that money, and as soon as I got done working a double, bust my ass, serving motherfuckers all day, a cop gonna come and write one single ticket and take away more than I even made that day. It's just, That's it's not cool. A poor white bitch cannot make it in this That's world. That's robbery, yo. That's that kind they're, of shit. they're gang. And, and, sad. And they be playing you out because there's a 50 mile an hour zone right where the motherfuckers sit and it's clocking people. But because when you're coming over the bridge before you hit Brielle, when you're coming from point, it's 40 miles an hour, which I did not really know because I'm not from point. I didn't pay enough attention. That's what they do the with the drastic speed changes and in There's nobody on the road in the middle of the night when you're coming over a large fucking bridge and there's a million miles to go. And you know what? They're very sneaky. Something. Let me yeah. let you know. I get a little bit freaked out about bridges. I'd be having nightmares about bridges and shit. I'd be having nightmares about a car going up a bridge and the bridge going up and my car going tilting backwards and shit like that. So when I'm mm. coming over the fucking bridge, I just want to get my ass over the goddamn bridge. Yeah. They sit there as a Speed trap just waiting to get motherfuckers. He didn't care. Well, he knew I was broke. He seen my record asking me, You got drugs in the car? Do I got drugs in the car? You mean weed? Because <laughs> they like to sneaky, sneakily entrap people and get them in trouble. Jesus, you scared me. I thought well, you were mad. And they will plant evidence on you around here. They will. We got Chris they Meyer don't. walking up in the scene. Mr. Marauder. Just, my full government name too. Uh, yeah, come on. It's Mr. Marauder. Oh, what the hell? We're doing a podcast. We're talking about Earth Day. Ain't nobody talking about nothing illegal. We were talking about legalizing shit, though. That's for sure. sure. Here, man. You're missing out on all Dropping kinds of food. bombs. Everybody else took their food. Yo, I took a sample of this burger. Or something that. The world is Here, actually, you might as well right just now. take this plate. Sure, it's gonna be. No. More war. World War Three, possibly? Yeah. yeah. I made all these grilled vegetables. And stuff. You don't want it. They're this saying that either. they're, uh, that, that Russia or something me. like that is supposed to be a problem. You done, Andrew? I don't know. I yeah, think, I think that so. All, I think that we got some aliens. There's probably some aliens that run the whole world and they're just laughing at everybody right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's Brussels sprouts, there's carrots, there's asparagus, there's walnuts, there's raisins, with garlic, asparagus. Let's start that. You're treated right from the moment you're searching. It's delicious. It's Earth Day. <laughs> it's Earth Day for you. So yeah. Yep. Earth Day and Brussels sprouts, they just go together. Doing like, uh, yeah, it's about Earth Day mm-hmm. and the weather and what's going on with her and how they fucking shit up. They're probably going to kill off my damn family. I was thinking about that today. I think about that often, how my family in California. Not if I make One day I'm going to go out there and visit them and get on a plane and I'm crying as I walk away from my sister. No, I ain't never going back because California's going to go underwater one day. Gonna be damn sad. If I make more organite harping and be doing shit, I'm gonna make one the size of like an actual building somehow. Just be a whole bunch of black iron oxide, and a whole bunch of quartz crystal, and smash it up and just make a giant pyramid. There you go. <laughs> Do it. It'll be a. It'll be a. Um. 
mysterious monument. Who built this? Why is it here? We don't know. It's been there for, just, for, for it just appeared. <laughs> yeah, that's probably where the pyra how pyramids came about. There's too. a bunch of fruit here, too. What? There's oranges, strawberries, <clears throat> grapes, blueberries, there's tomatoes, raw tomatoes there, too, but I'll just... So Are for this special edition tomato conversation, tomato. long form conversation. Veggie burger, but I took a sample out of it. <clears throat> the Walking Dead. The Walking oh, yeah. Dead. Let's, Has let's you seen this? That. Let's discuss this. All right. The last episode of the season. Wow. Thank you. Oh yeah, I I saw that in the comic books before it even happened. Yeah, it did. It said yeah. the same ending. But the Jesus part was the one switch. Uh, there was no Jesus <laughs> Rest holding in peace, Negan Carl. hostage. Huh? Yeah, there was no Jesus holding Negan hostage, though, which was so in Negan the comic book. So Negan is still alive, right? Negan is in jail, though, for years yep. in the comics. He's, yeah, and so he's going to be tortured beard. by Rick and, and Michelle? Not tortured. No, no. They, eventually, they're going to become allies in the comic book because... Um, I guess they face that even, uh, yeah. And the Whisperers. The Whisperers, oh, yep. And what another. Dwight, Whisperers, then. Yep. And there's... Dwight was banished by Daryl. Yeah, he was almost right. executed, yeah, though. He, he got was. lucky. Yeah, he definitely did. Because well, there's another group. Simon there's another Simon? community. Yes, yeah, Simon died. got choked killed, out right? by Negan. Yeah, yeah, he broke his neck or something. Sweet. And then they tied him to the fence as a walker, which was yep. pretty weird. Mm -mm -mm. She can't say I can see some. And there was remorse. Really. <laughs> that is a quote from uh, Simon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there was remorse. So did you hear there's a new, so there's two storylines they might go with that they do from the comics: the Whisperers War, I've which is probably one. next, where they wear the zombie faces. Yep. Because there was a scene in the movie where, uh, not the movie, the show where they had. Right at the end where there was the war, they had these, like, picket fence. Not, it wasn't a picket fence. It was, like, a post. Many different posts, like, spaced out in, like, a border. Yeah, yeah. And I know in the comic book, that was, like, the border that they said anyone crosses that, they'll be they'll be killed. And in the comic book, they killed Ezekiel and put his head on that. Damn, on the, on the, really? On the posts. Yeah. That and a couple happens, other people. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. Just his head? With the dreadlocks? Yeah. No they impaled his head. And then there was another thing, the New World Order is like the new uh, plot line in the comics, where there was, they showed a lady that was riding a helicopter, and she flew by in a couple episodes, and they met, she yeah, met with... Yeah, yeah, wasn't that, did, that she, in the... She met uh, with the junkyard, with the junkyard people. yeah, uh -huh. and there was a, a helicopter, yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. And in the comic book, they have, like, way, they have, like, 50,000 people or something, like, they have a large area and people really? on there, and they're making stuff, they're making body armor, looking like stormtroopers, and... Damn. So now there's two new groups, so that's probably where the... That would be interesting to see if... That's why they had to go to the new season. The next season, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be cool. Damn. Because now Maggie wants yeah, to kill Negan. Maybe Glenn. What's going on with that? Because technically only a month passed since Glenn got <laughs> his, his head, head smashed. Yeah. Yeah. smashed. Only a month in their world. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, their world. Only a month. Only a month. I'd be trying to kill this nigga too. Are you serious? You kill my babe, daddy. I'll fuck you up. In the same month, that means. Are you serious? Yeah. He did. I would. I would have done ran after myself. I wouldn't let nobody see that emotion. I would just be a ninja slick. That's why she freaked out when Rick was like, "Oh, go and get him bandaged up or save him, save his life or something." She started freaking the fuck out. Yeah. So are you looking forward to next season, I guess? Yeah, it's cool. Dope. Well, I have to say, I mean, I'm, I still feel that The Walking Dead has taken a turn for the, for the, for the worse as, as the years have gone on. And a lot of people I'd like to that. see them close it out at some yeah, point. It's all good because we got Punisher and Flash But, you know, if it's still going to be, how many more yeah. comics do you need to follow up on to, to really, like... Did the comics end? Are the comics still being written? They're still going on. They have See, a new plot line. As long as line. they keep doing it, then the show's going to keep going yeah. because, you know, that's how it is. But sometimes, you know, things don't realize when they I get played out. I heard that show is supposed to run until 2030 at least or something like that. <laughs> what, wow, yeah. that's long. Yeah. The apocalypse finally occurs? <laughs> well, I know they said they hoped to do tw 20 seasons. Then they said they hoped they could at least do 12, so... 
we'll probably see a lot more before the series is over. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they go take a left turn from the comic books occasionally, too. Yeah, like with Carl. That sucked. That was crazy. The old boy went and shot himself. He went out like a G, though. I can't say he didn't. I mean, shooting yourself, I guess that's not really a G move to do in this world. But in his situation, like, what else... I don't know. What if they found a cure for him, like, slightly after? That would have been crazy. Yeah. yeah. He, like, shot himself, and then they found a cure? That would have been some shit. So I'm on PlayStation 4, and for some reason, anytime I log on, Jake... Damn little kids. The it's snake... Fun. Called, it's called delete block. But how do they see you the, like within uh, a minute? Delete block. Because you don't have to They're yeah. trolls. So they're, that what you're they're, they're not even trolls. They're, they're just they're annoying. They're still kids. You okay. can't play games with little kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let me use that gun. That's my favorite yeah. gun. And then it's like, and come on. Ah! You know what I mean? When you're wearing a microphone, someone's like screaming into it. Yeah, it gets annoying, dude. <laughs> What I can't stand is when I, I I'm oh. sitting in a lobby <laughs> I mean, as I just start the game. My bad. I just sit in the lobby and then all of a sudden I'm looking for people to play. I don't I send some invites, but people I didn't invite just hop in my lobby, <laughs> like Jake and Pence. And I'm like, yeah. why are you in my lobby talking to me? Oh. So I'm like, I just don't like how you can be in the lobby and people can just appear in your lobby. Should I do it? Come on. Oh, are you smoking? I thought you were going to smoke for it. I don't know. That's <laughs> yeah. why I was trying to just let it happen, but you guys made it too. The only reason I didn't <laughs> pass it is because you said you weren't on the way here. You I know. Me you he always says that yeah. paranoid shit. You got to just let him do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Keith. Kind of. <laughs> but in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Because smoking makes people Oh, no, no, no. Paranoid. But Keith doesn't even like being filmed about talking about or doing anything. He's just ridiculous. He's telling you. So, <clears throat> what do you want to end this uh, segment on? Because we've got the first segment and the ending segment. So, what else so. can we discuss, you know? We discussed Earth Day. We discussed legalizing marijuana. We discussed harp a little bit. CERN, time travel. We didn't really actually Big, go but on time the other episode. Too much today. Oh, I mean, you're talking about the last episode. The other clip, episode, yeah. it, but we never put that in the episode. Oh, so so it's clip it all together. So it's just going to be the end. And blue you got, turkeys were in there too. What are somewhere. blue turkeys? I forget. We were talking about uh, aliens on Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he did so. All right, so we'll wrap this up right about now. Um, this episode is called Blue Turkey. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That, yeah, this episode will be called it's Earth Day. Oh, oh yeah, Earth, Earth, Day. Earth, Day. Earth Day. Yeah. Um, it's also 422, which means it's 422. Two 420 as well. So for all of you potheads, I hope you had a good 420, and this one's for you. We're time travelers, so we're going back to 420. Unfortunately, we don't have anything in the mailbag today, but do you have a question or comment for WBHNNJ? Leave us a voicemail and it may get played on the air. Call 1-732-807-5574 to leave your message for us here at the podcast. We always look forward to comments, questions, and what have you from literally all over the world, and we enjoy hearing what you have to say. So give us a call at 1-732-807-5574 and call it. And don't be bashful. Give us a ringy ding. Don't feel shy to call in with your questions, comments. Call in with your ghost stories. Call in with your reports of UFO alien sightings and encounters. Or give us a clickety clack and leave a comment. Save this number in your cell phone. Once again, that's 1-732-807-5574.
Andrew Robinson here. At Armageddon Record Shop, we've partnered with eBay to expand our operation. My goal is to find the best deals on the highest quality products and give them to you at the lowest prices possible. The New World Order wants us dependent. We need to be self-sufficient. Visit us at ebay.com slash USR slash Armageddon Record Shop. Books, video games, clothing, and much more. New items every month. Armageddon Record Shop on eBay. Pump up the volume and let the music play. President Zen One, the new CD, Warshack Test. Featuring Bout Max Single, Project Blue Beam, Warshack Test. Available on iTunes, CD Baby, Reverb Nation, and other fine music stores. You can buy my new CD, Warshack Test, and Philosopher's Stone, both for only $9.99. Check us out on Armageddon Record Shop or on eBay. I've got digital download cards of both your teams for sale. Or just inbox us at zen1music at gmail.com. What are you waiting for? You're listening to WBHN New Jersey. Brought to you by the Armageddon Records Media Network. And made possible by viewers like you. This is a special report. Okay. You remember last, uh, or when, remember why I started going back to school, the for physics, why I wanted to go back to school for physics? Do you remember why? What was my purpose? Generally, yeah. What was it? To work your way into certain laboratories and really find out what they're up to. Do you know who I'm friends with on Facebook now? This is a nectar collector. This is my life. Like a fucking soldering iron. Aha, <laughs> yeah. You ever see one of those, Aaron? Yeah, I have. But it's not as strong as one at all. It's very weak. Okay, it's fine. It's my birthday. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> what, did you hit some butter just now? A little bit. A little bit. Need some? What? No, no. I got plenty right, go at on. home. I'm yep. not going to smoke you a little bit. You have. Yeah, it's not much left, so... Almost was time to ask a little more. How do you like it, by the way? I like this. With the toasted coconut, it's carrot delicious, cake. right? Mm -hmm. Frosting's good and everything, right? Mm hmm. Okay, what was you going to say? So, you wanted to talk about some weird topics real quick, so yeah. jump into it. I'm recording. I can probably edit it. Oh, you're some recording for the right now? Yeah, so. Okay, well, I just wanted to let you know that I am currently now friends with one of the senior physicists at CERN. Wow. Because when I was originally hmm. inspired to go back to college for physics, it was after my Aunt Maureen died, and I was out at dinner with my, with my father at the Spring Lake Golf Club, and he was telling me how he is friends with one of the senior physicists at CERN. And I was like, what, 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 what? Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? And he was like, yeah, you know, real casually. Da, 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 da. And so the other day, I posted a cover photo of my family, and I tagged my father in it. One of the women that liked it, I clicked on to see who she was, and sure enough, she was listed as a senior physicist at CERN, and I was like, this is her. So I added her, and I started talking to her. I was like, you know, I'm just so inspired by your life, and you have to explain to me, like, how you got to where you, you, you are today. And I actually have some messages of her explaining a little bit of her story, but I'm hoping to sit down and maybe actually get, like, a real interview with her one day, and that would be pretty amazing, so... She's friends with me on Facebook now. She she even Can went through. Can I request through. a question that you ask her? You Can you ask her if they really tested the Hydron Collider while Pope Francis was here? If you start asking her shit like that, she's probably not going to take you seriously. I have to try and approach this Pope from Francis, a realistic point of view, though. But that was when they were supposed to But if I ask her anything that out. sounds somewhat like a joke or with a it's smile on my joke, face, she though. might That's not take you seriously. Really was supposed to so, supposedly went down. I want her to take me seriously. She went through my cover photos and she actually found one of my cover photos as like Did a picture of a, right? of a nebula from 2100 uh, uh, light years away or something and she made comment on it about it. So if you go through my cover photos on my Facebook, you can Fucking see that. the comments that she made um, about that, that nebula that is 2100 light years away or something like that. Okay. 
Um, and you could add her yourself if you want, but I, I mean, I wouldn't jump right on it right away because I want her to feel a little bit comfortable Don't with being able to talk. Away, yeah, right? I already no, had some pretty long conversation with her last night that I had to like cut myself off right where she was cutting me off at the same time I was sending a message like, anyway, all right, we'll have a good night. Like, you know, hopefully one day we can talk more. And, and then, and also, then she came back and commented on my shit, so she didn't like completely. Or I ask her if she thinks that Flash was inspired, Star Labs was inspired by CERN, because I think. It was Star Labs in Flash, the TV show Flash. I think I was inspired yeah, by Cern. I, I gotta ask so her. Yeah. You know, you have to yeah. remember though, kids, right. that this woman is the, the the leading physicist at CERN. She's not gonna have okay, time kid. to answer any kind of questions that she doesn't feel are certainly relevant to you know reality and her life and right. progress and shit. So I'm if I'm gonna that. take up some of this woman's time, I'm gonna have to ask her some serious questions. Okay. You know, but I'm just I feel really inspired and blessed to be able to talk to her, talk to someone who's working on such serious important work in this world that like I wish that I could be so inspired to go there and like I had to explain to her like honestly like I failed an algebra class last semester and get there and she was like I'm not making fun of you but I'm just curious how do you not know algebra right now did you not learn that in 8th ninth grade and I was like I honestly wasn't taught these skills in the school that I went to because I went to a continuation school I was graduated early they graduated me from a school early and they only required us to do a certain amount of material I honestly don't remember and when when I went in for my pre-algebra last year and in the classroom I did well and I I finished that class at 102 percent above and beyond but when I did an online class and I jumped back and forth I was so scrambled up I wasn't learning the material properly. So I don't know if I was to learn it in an in-classroom program that if it was going to, if I would be able to apply it and and learn it, or if I'm just not meant to do this, and maybe I'm just meant to get into my creativity and be an actress, which is why I'm about to go try and, you know, um, set forth on this path to, you know, go sign up for central casting and try and start with some background work or, like, do some comedy sets again. But, you know, I'm still completely inspired and don't want to give up on the whole school thing yet even though like I'm on academic probation and and financial aid and the government is holding me back from being able to gain the education that I should be able to receive like and you know it poses a question like she's like what's holding you back from being able to learn it well I'm not receiving the education that I should be able to get you know so pretty fucked up that we're not all able to just receive the education that you know other people in other countries get for free but she is from America so she, I have to say she must be like well at least it seems like she went to school in America so I have to say that she you know must have fought hard to get to where she is today and it's it just like I said it was pretty cool though well build that, that relationship my birthday nice build that relationship see where it goes you never know um um I was saying something else What's that? Yeah, that's my jam. That's what you're saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, nice I was gonna say something, too. but I forgot. So another thing. You were gonna say something about the woman Zoe from the top physicists at CERN, like one of the senior physicists. She works on magnetics, by the way. I mean, like I could read you the post that she sent to me, or I could just like send you. You know, I could copy it or whatever. Yeah, I don't have time to review it right yeah, now. Yeah, well, later on. We'll go over it another a little bit. time. I Let also had just... Anyway. The other thing was, before I go, you mentioned... What you have to travel. say? Here? Yes. Time travel. Okay. Oh. Yes, I believe in it. Yeah, so did Einstein, too, I think. Yeah. yeah. So I do you too. think that... That this woman who's working on and making improvements on the Large Hydrogen Collider, like currently as we speak, do you think that she also believes in time travel? Yeah. Is that a question that we can realistically ask her? That she, you yes. think that she, she might have the same answer? point of view that I have on it, maybe not, but a lot of people do, and it's that it's not within this timeline that we'd be traveling in. It would be in a alternate dimension. So that's what makes it actually possible. You're actually so you can't go back and predict the lottery by traveling back in time because right. you're not going to be in this timeline so the lottery so outcome might be a little travel different out there forward and time is what you're saying no forward and backwards just not within this timeline and when you enter another timeline you can't come back to this one either so it's like so you're shifting realities basically, technically you don't yeah. actually time travel you are shifting realities but in a different so, point of origin in time so say if you 
went backwards in time and you tried to get the lottery numbers, the lottery numbers might be different in that timeline. You wouldn't be able to come back to this one either. They, so they say, and um, like it, if you even when you study quantum physics, they say every possible outcome has happened and will happen on another universe somewhere. Like anything you could think of, one where you're rich, one where you know you live on the moon. You know, right, right. Yeah, every outcome has happened and will happen on another universe. So, like, when you're going into those, it's when you're you're parting into other dimensions, you're actually, you know, but if only shifting into somewhere else, but with it could even be so like exact to ours, you can't actually time travel and come back to the reality that you left, right? Exactly, you can only shift into one reality or another, and once you go, that's it. It's like Rick and Morty, but it might not be that that extravagant of a difference, and it like might be so minute of a difference, like where one of your nails is green and the rest are the color they are now, or something, you know, or something dumb, or there's like an extra hair on your head in that universe, and then you know. It could be minute or or a large difference. We could all so there's even universes that defy what our laws of physics even abide by, you know. And like this is just from all the crazy research I'm done. I'm sure you passed through a few things that are kind of you could you could uh, co-sign what I'm saying. On yeah, a definitely. Few of them, right? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe even the, some of the aliens we see. Oh yeah, extraterrestrial travelers from the future coming back. Yes, and, like, and the UFO is, is that, a time machine. Who is that artist yeah. that covers her eyes completely and always wears a big, right. huge uh, black and, and white wig? Why they're so veiled too? Because who they have ramifications. Huh? They because want. I think she's an alien. Who? That artist that wears that big black and white. Lady Gaga. Wig. No, she's not Lady Sia. Gaga. What's her name? Sia. Sia. She hides her face. She hides her entire face, and yeah. why? What is she hiding? Has anyone ever know. seen her face? Just to make the argument say sound interesting, I'll say no. Uh, because, like, you know, is face, is it so. possible that maybe she's an alien and that's why she's hiding the top of her face? Or a ghost. Yeah. You know, and, and she just wants to be able to do her art without p- having people being able to see her. Or what if she's a clone? And there's a clone or of artificial intelligence. I, I really think that that's why. I, this is a weird theory I concocted, and it might sound far fetched, but I think that's why cosmetology is like, oh, they're throwing an alt to there. Cosmetology, you mean? Cosmetology. Cosmetology is facial makeup. Yep. Yeah, this is, is where I'm getting to with artificial intelligence. They want to push a makeup product onto humans. This way they could disguise robots and they could blend in easier with other humans. Like they're throwing altars everywhere and shit. They're pushing, trying to get little kids to wear makeup and shit. I've I've been reading so they on articles. Make them our robots? No, no, no. So like I they start like to look fake like the robots, oh, and the so robots like can blend like, in easier. I feel like yeah, that's yeah. almost more Illuminati and the and the society pushing the the deviant behavior into society, you know, and getting kids to dress like little whores at younger ages and act more provocative at younger ages and. But I don't know. At the same time, you, you know, Illuminati is also presumed to be setting forward the the gay thing, you know, to try and get everybody to do that so that there's less children being born. I mean, I've heard all that. I don't know if it's true. Or not, but, you know, I don't know what the fuck. Well, well, the word Illuminati, it... all that means is the enlightened ones. It's the Latin origin. It means the enlightened ones. I mean, I feel like that word has been flipped to be used but as evil. But makeup has been like, around for for centuries and centuries. It was it was it was yeah. way back in Egypt. You know that that well, makeup. Sure, I'm not saying makeup's bad. Like a tool could be utilized to destroy or build. You the know? same thing. Yeah. I have to say, you know, even though so, you know we're sitting like, here with the is, wax and whatnot. And now that, you know, weed is being legalized in New Jersey, people are feeling more and more comfortable. But I always thought that weed was perfect the way God made it. And human beings always gone down and found a way to fuck up everything. And we so had to go and condense... you think the extraterrestrial I, gifted us with that? I don't know. No, I don't know. I think that human beings can go ahead and... And and destroy anything that can be just perfect the way that it was, yeah, and sure. and overdo anything and Sweet. binge out on things instead of just enjoying things in in balance. 
Yeah, that's you know? true. That's true. I mean, yeah, you could see with the obesity issues and now, and like nowadays and shit like that. And I mean, you know, you with the vaping and shit that people are doing too. It's like from one habit to another, you know. I guess I could see. Well, like that you. too. For me, someone who's like, you know, trying to break away from the habit of smoking tobacco cigarettes from big tobacco my whole life out the window when I'm driving a car try and switch to the CBD vape now I don't support the nicotine vapes I never have been into those I've tried them they don't really help for me it's, it's best to go cold turkey though, yeah. but when I need to str- when I'm stressing and I feel like I can't bring my marijuana in the car I need to be able to bring something that I'm legally allowed to bring so I bring my CBD pen around with me you know and think that you know that will be able to help but then sometimes my my lungs will actually feel some kind of um, pressure from from the moisture that gets inside yo this is what I wonder if yo we we might be extraterrestrial the other extraterrestrial so that means that we are aliens that smoke weed do you think aliens there's other extraterrestrial that smoke weed or do something like that well, I'm sure there's extraterrestrials that partake in all different kinds too? of weird alien. Because our behavior may be weird to another species in another dimension, know, like, do they but like, then their behavior could be weird. Like, what if they sit there and lick banana peels? As yeah, they, like you know, they stick their know. finger in a light socket and get like and ripped off of it know. or something. Because like, you know? there, as you mentioned before, there may be different laws of physics in different. Yeah, realities. and the different. So if that's the to, case, yeah. then there's going to be different ways for them to be applying something to alter their perception in that physical reality. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Because if it's like one type of alien, they're like, are there? They're all the same. But no, maybe they all have their own unique personalities, and some of them are vaping. Yeah, you know, maybe there's yeah. some little gray aliens vaping CBD oil. Or they have Thanksgiving with a purple turkey in the middle of their table or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, ultimately, what everybody's yeah. trying yeah. to push these days is what is healthy for you? What is the healthiest thing? What's the healthiest diet? What is the healthiest way to, to take some kind of substance that may or may not improve your day or not? Um, if, if we have to end this, we can yeah, why? cut it off. So, Make your final thoughts, because I was about to end on this. Well, I was, but... Was the purple turkey. So. Purple. Well, because I want to let you know I'm ready to wrap up. Yeah, oh. wrap it up. It's all good. I can talk for hours, so you can wrap it up. Yeah. Okay. Check out my man Chosen's podcast. It's your boy Frankie V. And Simply E, what's up? Can they find you anywhere online? Um, you can find me on Facebook.com slash Frankie V123. I have a music page there. And I'm uh, Facebook.com slash Aaron K. Riley. And that's Ari Berry on Facebook. What up? It's my birthday. All right, that's wrapping up this segment.